All right, time to check in with Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Tyler. Hey there, Steve. We're talking about a BC firm that's been doing pretty well. Yeah, you know what? Uh, people look at the Chinese economy right now and wonder maybe it's slowing down, but uh, Primary Peptides, which is a UBC spinoff, they just inked a big deal with uh, Yabao uh, Pharmaceutical Group over in Beijing. Now, uh, terms of the deal were not disclosed, but co-founder Dr. Max Sinater, he tells me that he expects Yabao to invest as much as $40 million uh, performing clinical trials in Beijing, clinical trials that are going to be done to U.S. FDA standards. So that's the key here, because uh, this isn't the only uh, U, uh, BC life sciences firm that's getting involved with uh, these Chinese uh, groups. Uh, just two weeks ago, uh, Cardium, uh, they signed a deal, a licensing agreement uh, with a Chinese firm. Um, this is their second licensing agreement in the past year. The first one paid a million dollars up front, and now they're eligible for $3 million milestone payments going forward. So there's a lot of big money that they're chasing on the other side of the Pacific at this point. But not everybody is so high on these deals. I spoke to uh, Carolyn Cross. She's the CEO over at Ondine uh, Biomedical. She said that there's a lot of murkiness when it comes to the legal system over in China and that your uh, intellectual property is at risk of possibly getting stolen. But, you know, going back to the co-founder of Primary Peptides, uh, Dr. Sinater, he tells me that all the legal documents were done up to U.S. legal code. So that's why he's not necessarily concerned about that. But look, if there's a lot of money to be made over in China by uh, signing these deals there, I'm sure a lot more B.C. companies are going to go chasing that money over there. Okay, Tyler, thank you very much. I know you'll be back in an hour with more business news. It's